a passage from the book The Way to Become a Person in Heaven While Living, Teacher Wu Myung. Among the ordinary, there is the extraordinary. Just as there are no trees in places that are too high, people who believe they are the greatest are like high mountains where trees cannot grow. For they have no one around them. One who has a large open mind without self can accept everything. One who is truth without self achieves ultimate love and intimacy with people. He loves all, has great mercy and compassion, and treats others with great love. With that great love, and without even the mind of having done so, he saves people, accepting everything with the original mind, without discernment or judgment. Everything lives within him. Among the ordinary, there is the extraordinary. A distinguished person thinks only he is excellent and supreme, but the ordinary person can accept everything. With the greatest mind and lives with the extraordinary and remarkable wisdom of the Creator, he who lives in harmony with the people in the world, with true love, is the extraordinary one. But no one knows this man is extraordinary. One who enjoys being exalted cannot live in harmony, for only he is excellent. He is the foolish one. For he lives with his own standards of what is good and what is bad. An extraordinary person is one who is reborn as truth. A foolish person is one who is not reborn as truth. To live well means to be reborn as truth and to live as truth. To live poorly means to die. All is one. He who is liked by everyone, he who has no thorns, no ill will in his mind, he who sees everything as it is, he who sees others just as they are, even with all of their faults, and he who has no mind of his self is the extraordinary one. Among the ordinary is the extraordinary. The ordinary is the greatest, the most distinguished, and sublime perfection. But no one knows this. For there is no one who is truly ordinary. One who is ordinary can accept everything, for he has a large, open mind.